Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. This is a super quick video, y'all. I was looking through the comments um, on my videos that I just made, that I just loaded, and I have multiple people asking me how I make my bows. So I actually use this bow die. I did get it on Amazon. Here's the three pieces. I have a big shot that I use when I use this and that makes it super simple. Now this bow die set did come with this other bow, bow die and I don't really care for that one as much. Um, I like this one where it comes out looking like this. So anyway, if I will try to see if I can link this bow die um, below. If you're interested, I did get it on Amazon. So um, maybe you can jump over there. I don't think it was very expensive either. It's been a little while since I, since I um, purchased it but I'll see if I can locate it and I'll put it in the description box below. But I just love the little scallops and it looks lacy. I just think it's as pretty. Okay, so this is all I do. Super easy. I don't use any hot glue or anything on these. I just kind of curl my bow and this one is a double sided. As, as you see, I did this side. So this time I'm gonna do the pink side. And then all I do is I put some glue in the center, I'm using my Barely Art Glue. And I'm gonna just hold that down. And as you see here, I still got a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put that down over the top, just like this. And whenever I'm making a whole bunch, like when I made a whole bunch of these, I used like a little clothespin and held it closed. That way I can move on to the next one and I wouldn't have to sit here and hold it. This does dry pretty fast. This glue dries real fast. So it's super simple. So here's the bottom. Um, let me make sure I get this, this thing poked out. Okay, so this is the bottom. So once you get this all done, you can see that's where the, seam, the little seam where you put it together. I like to put that underneath. I'm just gonna add some glue and I'm gonna line these up just like this, hold it down till you get your, till you get the glue to set. And then this other little tiny piece right here is goes over the center. So I'm just gonna put some glue. And I'll probably put too much glue, but I don't want it to fall apart. So I'm just gonna put it over, over like this. And there you go. That's it. Just let the backs meet together. Let it dry. And my friends, you have very sweet bows. They are quick and easy. This is a great bow die. I love this one. I don't really love that other bow die. Let me see if I, I, I made actually one. Let me see if I can find it. It's probably going to be the only lonely one. It's the one that looks like this. I don't love this one as well. I mean, it's cute, but I probably won't use it as much. I actually like this one better. Now, the the pros is this is beautiful. But whenever I do use these, paper gets stuck up in these little holes and I have to try to shake it out and poke it out. And this one, sometimes it's hard to get this one out. So what I do is I use my, my old Cricut tool and I kind of poke it through the hole and kind of push it out and it will come out. So anyway, yeah, I will, that's how I make my bows. You, if you have an envelope punch board, you can actually make your bows with your envelope punch board. If you've never done that and would like for me to show you, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to show you. Um, yeah, that's how I make my bows. I hope this is helpful to you and I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.